Okay, on this episode of Southern Field Herping, um, we're going to do it a little different. We're going to do like a walk around, and we're going to film every so often. We're going to stop and film where we are at the Millery Lake. Um, it's a uh, good ways around. I think it's about three, probably about three or four miles around the whole thing. There's a lot of peninsulas that uh, branch out from the lake, and uh, you got a lot of cotton mouse, water snakes, king snakes. And uh, right now we're searching for the scarlet king snake. Um, so uh, hopefully we'll find something and uh, we'll check back in in a little while. Uh, spots like this are ideal for water snakes and cotton mouse. So you have a lot of little streams that branch out from, uh, from the main lake. Uh, this is usually where we find uh, some of your different water snakes, like the northern water snake. Um, this lake, usually you find yellow bellies more than anything. And um, most of the time you're either going to see them beside these streams or hidden down in there, um, down in the debris. But uh, there's a lot of frogs out today, so we might see a couple snakes out trying to hunt for something. Hopefully. But, uh, We'll continue on and see if we find something. Amber's searching for a frog she saw. It's like 93 degrees out here and there's leopard frogs just hopping around like they don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see another one. See, this spot right here, this is an ideal spot for a uh, scarlet king snake. We can just find some good pine bark, we might find one. Okay, we are at the first little peninsula. Um, as you can see, this grass is really tall. Uh, usually when it rains a lot, this whole area will get really swampy. And it's uh, really hard to get through. Usually we have to walk all the way around the entire thing to get past it but uh this here is the first first little little outbreach of land um every now and then you'll find something over there but usually we don't uh, a little ways up though we have another one and uh we might find a cotton out there but we'll see it is so hot out here we are halfway around and all we can find and some bark is a five line skink which is still cool though check that out that's sort of neat he's got a forked tail um, so something that sort of branched out he must have cut it in that spot and it just sort of grew back like that so that's sort of neat but there he is Little five line, small one. We're gonna let him go. Okay, we just saw a huge snake shed. Um, this spot here, really swampy. Um, you got a lot of little canals and creeks going everywhere. This is uh, the spot where you're most likely gonna see a cotton mill. I don't know what that was. That might have been a bath. Um, but uh, there's a possibility of seeing a speckled king snake too. So we're going to continue on and hopefully we'll find something today. You got it? Yeah. Okay, there's a cotton mouth right there. Let's see if I can get him. If I'm quick enough. Ah! Okay, we are almost all the way around, and I tell you, of all the places 
If we go field herping, I'd say the Millery Lake's probably one of the toughest. Look at that. You have to walk through a lot of underbrush. It's really thick. And all these peninsulas, you have to go around, uh, and it actually makes the walk a lot longer. It makes, uh, actually puts probably about a mile more than it should be. But, uh, like I said, we're almost around. Haven't found very much, but... I don't know, maybe our luck will change. And I think next time we'll try to come a little earlier. <laughs> oh man, this is where we found a speckled king one year. He probably won't be out right now though. That was a trick. Alright, we finally made it all the way back around. Um, we saw a five line skink and a cottonmouth. I was hoping we'd see more, but it's still nice to get out and do some field herping. Um, next time we're going to try to come a little earlier. Uh, we spotted a dead scarlet king snake here last time. So we know they're in this area and we're going to find one so we can make a video of him. But I appreciate everybody that watched the video and uh, hopefully we'll have a little more for y'all next time.